you know, don't be jealous. Not everybody can pull off a sweater vest as well as I can. I love a sweater vest. So my story today <clears throat> is when I was in college, after my freshman year and my sophomore year, when I first got out of college, um, I worked for like a, I want, I'm, I want to say a week. It may have been seven days. It may have been six. It may have been eight. I don't But about a week, I worked for this farmer named uh, uh, Lloyd, Lloyd Anderson was his name. And they lived uh, on the, the, the west side of Carlstead, which had the, 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 really good, the really good land was out there. East of Carlstead, where we were, it wasn't so much. It was very rocky and that sort of stuff. But anyway, so they had this big potato farm. They grew potatoes um, and they had the really beautiful soil. So at least at that time, uh, to plant potatoes, you had this, this uh, big machine that was probably at the top 12, the top of it probably 12 feet off the ground, maybe something like that. And it's probably 10 feet wide. And basically at the top of it, you have these four, they're called hoppers, but they're like big metal boxes that again are probably three feet deep and maybe a box that is three by two, something like that, and there are four of those. And then basically what, what you put chunks of potatoes, the eyes of you know potatoes that have been cut up into chunks, you, you fill the hoppers up with those potatoes and then as they go along, the potatoes drop down in between the, the, the planter, which are the, these sort of discs that face in, and what they do is the potato falls in, and then this, these little disc things close the soil over the, over the top of the, of the potatoes. So that's how you plant the potatoes. And the problem with, with chunks of potatoes, unlike, say, something like wheat or, or you know, a grain of some sort or whatever, is that potatoes are, are, are wet just by their nature. And so because they're wet, they also stick together. So in order to keep the potatoes flowing at the proper rate, someone has to be on this this um, this planter uh, with a stick. Have I told this story before? I hope I haven't. Anyway, <laughs> seems like I have. With with a stick, and you basically have to poke down and keep the potatoes moving. So you have to walk back. There's a, there's a catwalk on the on the back of this machine for one person to walk back and forth. And, and encourage these potatoes to continue to fall uh, so that they'll be planted at a sort of a, 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 an even rate. So anyway, I did this job for, for a week, for two summers in a row, and um, a couple of things about it. We did it for 10 hours a day. I think we started at seven and we stopped at five. Um, they had they had very rich soil, I mean, just dark, beautiful soil. And so what I would get done at the end of each day, because I was outside in the wind uh, behind this tractor, and of course, the whole time he's doing this, he's churning up dust, and I'm in the dust. So, I mean, I'm not kidding you. When I got done at the end of the day, I had this, this even this even bit of, of dark soil on my face that it wasn't streaked. I mean, I actually did look like, to be honest with you, it looked like I had blackface on. Uh, I mean, it, it was just perfect, <laughs> just perfectly covered in this in this dark dirt from the dust. And the other thing about it was that this was before there were there were Walkmen. At least I didn't have one. Of course, there were no cell phones. There was no entertainment that I could have with me, none at all. So, so I basically, I would spend this ten hours a day walking back and forth across this. Again, I think probably 12 foot catwalk uh, and you know singing to myself talking to myself being bored to death and You know poking those potatoes down in the hole. So uh, anyway, I don't know. I was just thinking about that and I just I, I Can't help but think <laughs> that I've talked about this on here before. I do apologize if I did. Thanks. Love you